everyone. Welcome back. My name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews and I am so excited to talk about this book today right here, When We Believed in Mermaids by Barbara O'Neill. <sighs> Just finished it not even five minutes ago. I went and put makeup on and sat down and I was like, yes, let's talk about this book. First of all, it just came out last week. Couldn't wait to read it. I, I breezed through this book. It is so good. So, so good. I love Barbara. And I've talked to Barbara and I'm going to put that link below. And I knew this was going to be amazing. Okay. Last year I talked to her, I don't even remember when, but uh, it was about the art of inheriting secrets. And Barbara loves to write about family secrets and we are happy about it. Okay. That's all I can tell you is that we love that she writes about family secrets because nobody does it better than Barbara. And I can't wait to talk about it. So up on your screen, here is the Amazon blurb. From the author of The Art of Inheriting Secrets comes an emotional new tale of two sisters, an ocean of lies, and a search for the truth. Oh, God, I love that. First of all, I, I'm loving this whole sisters fiction thing, okay? I am a huge, huge fan of sisters fiction, and who knew that was going to be a genre? But thank you, Amazon. Thank you for making that a genre. Okay, let's talk. 352 pages. It is women's fiction, okay, sister's fiction, it's just called sister's fiction, and right now it's number six Kindle mystery romance, because you know what, we love our Lake Union authors, and she is one of my favorite, favorite, okay, up on your screen, another one of my favorite authors says, there's a reason Barbara O'Neill is one of the most decorated authors in fiction, with her trademark lyrical style, she's written a page turner of the first order. From the very first page, I was drawn into the drama and irresistibly teased along as layers of a family's complicated past were artfully peeled away. Don't miss this masterfully told story of sisters and secrets, damage and redemption, hope and healing. Oh my God, Susan. What a great review. I couldn't say it better myself, okay? And this is what she's talking about. Page one, chapter one. This story is told in two points of views, okay? We've got Kit, we've got Mari. I don't even want to tell you why. I don't know. I don't want to tell you anything. It is so good. And I love the way she lets us know stuff that I don't want to tell you stuff. But here we go. First line. My sister has been dead for nearly 15 years when I see her on the TV news. And you know, her stories are so like, you're thinking to yourself, well, this is just so, um, you know, unimaginable. I mean, whose family is this messed up and who would do that? And, and can this happen? And, and I'm here to tell you, yes. Yes, your family can be that messed up because my family is that messed up, okay? It is possible. And she takes the messed up and then she gives us hope because sometimes we don't have a lot of hope and sometimes our families are messed up and we don't think it's ever going to work out. And I know I get like that sometimes. I think, is it, is everyone all, you know, are we all going to be able to be happy? Are we all going to be able to get along? Is there an end? Is there a happily ever after? And she gives us those happily ever afters. And for that, Barbara, I love you so much. So, like I said, two points of view, Kit and Mari. And let's talk cons. My biggest con today is that I keep looking for trips to New Zealand. This book takes place in New Zealand. And I've looked at maps. I've looked at the tourist attractions. Every place she mentions, I've looked up. And now I want to go to New Zealand. And it costs a fortune. And it's really far away. And I don't like to go on airplanes that much. Close. Close airplanes, like in, in the country, okay? And now I'm like, New Zealand, let's fly to New Zealand. How can I get to New Zealand? That is my con for her, all right? I don't know, Barbara. I don't know, you're, you know what? You're gonna be like booming on the New Zealand. They're gonna be like, why is everybody coming to New Zealand? Oh, they read Barbara's book, that's why. Because you make us want to go to New Zealand. Um, are there sex scenes? Yes, and thank God, because I don't think anybody does it better than her, okay? They're so romantic. I, I wanted to cry that it's like she, she doesn't, he, 
correctly. And if I'm being, you know, I don't want to be insensitive to people who are like, no, I don't like any sex scenes. Okay, well, read one of Barbara's. Maybe you'll change your mind, okay? Because she did it awesome. It brought tears to my eyes. I just, uh, anyway, pros, pros, so many pros. But store A, storyline, okay? Characters, loved both the sisters so much. Compassion for both of them all along the way, actually the whole entire family, because you know what, we don't want to screw up our families. We don't go into it saying, you know what, I'm going to grow up and then I'm going to become an adult and I'm going to have kids and then I'm going to screw them up. That is not a goal, okay? That is not a goal. We're all here doing our best and the compassion I have for every one of these characters at the end. Mm. <sighs> and you know, she writes like these real stories. This this book, like I said, it's it's family secrets, but it's real. And I got done with it and I'm like, I gotta tell everybody, go read this book, okay? When We Believed in Mermaids. I love her titles too. Her titles are amazing. And look at this cover. Can I say any more? Are, are you getting that I love this book? You know, like I wanna say, raise your hand if you have any doubts about how I felt about this book. Okay, because I loved it. Barbara, I will read anything you write right from now on. Okay, anything you write, you you got me. Okay, so everybody go read it. Indie bound book, Amazon, you can get it on Kindle. It's on Kindle Unlimited. Um, there's no reason to not read this book. So let me know, let me know below. Are you gonna read it? Did you read it? It's only been out for a week and it's already doing, you should see all the reviews and they're all five star, okay? Everybody loves her. She's amazing. So thank you everybody for watching until my next book.